So I love to see 80s on the seven day. Yes. That, is, that is fantastic. <laughs> we are seeing 80s, the upper 80s, but hey, we will take anything we can get. Exactly. We're not in the 90s anymore, right? Or the triple digits at that. But now we're taking a live look in and making. Got some heavy clouds out there in the sky. Temperatures sitting at 80 degrees. Dew point at 75 degrees. So it's still pretty muggy out there as we start our Saturday. This is the range that we've saw over the past 12 hours, up to an inch in some portions of central Georgia. We could see something similar, if not more rain, as we head over the next 12 hours overnight tonight. Thanks to this batch of severe thunderstorms that are headed our way. I wouldn't call them severe just yet, but they're definitely heavy. Uh, big isolated storms that can have strong wind gusts and a lot of lightning as you can already see. But as we head throughout the day today, as you can see here on this model, they could start up any second now. And as that happens, we'll start to see more widespread storms appearing around 7 o'clock tonight, as well as severe storms, that red area there uh, appearing around 7 o'clock tonight. Now this isn't exact, not as far as location, but the amount of rain we could see and how severe they are is pretty much um, on point for now. Now this does update with time as you, of course, but as we move into about, until about 11 o'clock tonight, 8, 9, 10, 11, we have a cold front that's going to make its way towards our area. That's going to bring in drier weather, which will ultimately cool us off, but that's going to bring in not one, but two batches of rain as we move into the overnight hours uh, into Sunday morning. So be on the lookout for that. More rain is coming as we move into Sunday though. As we move into Sunday day, though, <laughs> rain chances will pick back up by 5 o'clock. More rain chances moving to 11. We're back into that typical summertime pattern moving into Monday as well. All that being said, we are under level 1 of 5 on that severe weather outlook. We will see severe storms only in a few spots that could spark up a severe thunderstorm morning. We will be tracking those with you, of course, but those winds within those storms could be anywhere between 40 to 60 miles per hour, hail up to 1 inch, and pretty strong winds. We're not expecting to see any tornado risk with these storms, but of course, we'll be keeping an eye out for them. Current temperatures across the board are in the upper 70s, even lower 80s now, 80 in Macon, 81 in Gordon, 81 degrees in Milledgeville. Dew points are in the upper 70s, meaning it's really muggy. That's where those dark green areas are. Now that humidity will stick around as we head into Saturday of next week, so get ready for it. And those temperatures are on the rise up to 91. I have the high set for 93 today, probably sometime between 4 and 5 o'clock. So yet another hot day is ahead for us. And with those dew point values so high, the humidity and heat index can be all the way up to the triple digits. So that's 105. That's the real feel outside as we head into 4 and 5 o'clock. Tonight, 74 is the low. We could still see those rain chances there. Um, that, that's when that cold front moves in around 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. And we again, they could be potentially severe. So you want to hold off any plans if you have any tonight. And tomorrow, similar situation, high of 88. Still have some storms lingering about. It won't be as high thanks to that drier weather that we've gotten. As far as the tropics, we are all clear as this big bold text says no development over the next five days. And that's all thanks to the Saharan desert or Saharan dust that's out there suppressing the development. Over the next seven days, temperature highs will be in the 80s and rain chances all week long.